Sacramen mos holy, O Sacramen divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, O Sacramen mos holy, O Sacramen. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the Lord. We are gathered here united by God as a family in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Good Jesus is the promised Messiah that God has promised to Israel. And he is the fulfillment of hope. And those who live a life of hope are those who are able to celebrate this Christmas more meaningfully. And for the time, we lost hope in our life and we live a life of dis desperation. Let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we you, we give you Thanks for your glory, Lord God, our King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God, Son of the Father, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated on the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free, for ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A 
reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God remains in you and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If, every, if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away. But whoever does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow, until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Merry Christmas to you all. Today we still celebrate Christmas until the Feast of Baptism. That's why it is uh, pretty nice to say and to greet Merry Christmas to all of you. And uh, Anna is one of those who celebrate Christmas in her life because she receives the fulfillment of God that she is waiting for in her life. 
and how many days Anna is waiting for the fulfillment of God, we don't know. This turns to weeks, weeks turns to month, months turn to years. We don't know how many years Anna should wait for the fulfillment of God's promise in her life. But the one thing that we can learn from Anna is she persistently waits for the fulfillment. She never loses her hope that God one day will fulfill his promise for her life. And she also doesn't insist God to fulfill his promise according to her time or her own expectation. But she let God fulfill his promise according to his time and his own way. And I think we also can learn from Anna to be persistent in waiting and in hoping that one day what we expect in our life will be fulfilled in God's time and in God's way without any doubt in our life. And maybe nowadays we are waiting for something that we expect in our life. We are praying for something. Maybe our own conversion. Maybe in the conversion, the conversion of our own families. Maybe something that we expect to have in our life. But maybe everything that we expect to come does not arrive yet. And we should learn from Anna to be persistent in prayer and to be faithful, hoping in God promise and I think those who are able to live a life of hope those who are able to celebrate Christmas more meaningfully in their lives so we ask the grace of God to be able to let God fulfill his own promise in our life according to God's way and according to God's time. But we still believe that one day God will fulfill his promise in our life. And, and uh, if we are able to live our life of hope, I think we will we will be able also to be just like Anna who celebrate Christmas more meaningfully. May God bless each one of us. Knowing that God is merciful and kind, let us pray for the sake of all people. For our Holy Father, may God continue to help him shepherd his people with wisdom and clarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For elected and appointed officials, may God work through their efforts in building a culture that supports the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
For all who are seeking purpose and meaning in their lives, and for those who may be experiencing difficulty at any transitional stage of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For members of this faith community, may God increase our faith and commitment to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all who have fallen asleep in the hope of Christ, may God lead them home in peace and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For an increase in vocations of the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition, thank you, book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the poor souls in purgatory for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers, and we offer all our prayers to you on the altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, do invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount 
of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep us safe for it in life.
communion antiphon. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, This morning, there is no any adoration due to funeral. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and to serve God and one another. Amen. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, sacrament.